Oh, hi guys. It is actually a fairly beautiful day here in the end times. In paradise in New York, maybe at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Where is it? Whoa. There it is a Thursday. A Thursday. That would be uh, November 24th. 2022. Thursday, November 24th, 2022. What in the hell does that... I know today is supposed to be something... I think it's called Thanksgiving. Yeah. Well, we are officially kicking off the holiday season. Mm -hmm. So this is day one. So I am at age 63. This is what I have manifested on Thanksgiving. Sitting here alone, well, with my little dog. Eating a Walmart corn dog. Oh, man. This is a tasty Walmart corn dog. I am thankful for my Walmart corn dog. Where would I be in life without Walmart corn dogs to be thankful for? And I will probably be sitting here in the same chair on Christmas Eating a Walmart corn dog. I assume I will be here for New Year's Eve that I will welcome in 2023 sitting here alone with my thumb up my ass in the frozen wasteland. Man, my little dog just uh, thinking about life and manifesting friendship and holiday celebrations and And all of the dysfunctional families and the backbiting and the infighting and the bickering and the probably the child abuse and the wife beating going on all over this fucking country today. Thinking of all my clueless, lovable friends in Austin, Texas, kicking off the holiday party season. I am already uh, getting invitations from my friends in Austin. You know, I'm 
I'm still on everybody's, you know, their little whatevers. So I still, uh, little dog, I'm moving over to Beanie Weenies. I'm going from uh, Walmart corn dogs to Beanie Weenies. You know, I have been a fan of Beanie Weenies. I'm 63. I've been eating Beanie Weenies since I was three. Still can't beat Beanie Weenies. <laughs> Just can't beat a Beanie Weenie. So like I do every holiday season, you know, I, I honestly wonder what my life would look like right now if I had not gone down the Doomer rabbit hole, if I had not fallen into the Doomosphere cesspool, uh, would I or would I not be sitting alone on Thanksgiving eating a Walmart corn dog and a bowl of beanie weenies. I mean, is it my fault or is it the Doomosphere's fault? broken record ran about Epicurus, the Greek philosopher Epicurus, talking about how the most depressing thing a human being can do is eat alone. And I'm not talking any day of the year. Eating alone. Eating alone on Thanksgiving, eating alone on Christmas, eating alone on New Year's Eve. This is my life. Sitting in a 49 square foot rodent infested old tool shed. Wondering what my dear sweet family is up to. And I'll, uh, see, one of my brothers I have not spoken to since 1997. My uh, well, one of my brothers is dead, so I haven't spoken to him since 1992. I haven't spoken to my other brother since 1997. And my third brother, for all intents and purposes, I have not spoken to in about three years now. You know, he was a casualty of the corona panic. I don't mean he died, I mean... Our, uh, our, literally, our brotherhood was destroyed over Corona Panic. So, 
he's as good as dead as I was telling my sister a few weeks ago. Actually, Sandy, Sandy was there when I was having this conversation with my sister. Uh, that I just consider my two living brothers just to be as dead as my dead brother. So, uh, even my sister said uh, she doesn't have it in her this year to cook and all that. I guess she and my brother-in-law are going to go to some fancy hotel in Burlington, Vermont. Oh, man. Eating alone, sleeping alone. Driving all over the fucking country alone. Beware the depressing effects of isolation. That is the, that is my, uh, the September 22nd, baby, advice from the secret language of birthdays. Beware the depressive effects of isolation. What do you think about the depressing effects of isolation, little dog? Mm. This is my life. Well, last year, I guess I was sitting on a uh, blood-stained, brain-splattered couch of a suicide. Although I actually uh, was invited over to my neighbors for Thanksgiving. They took pity on me. So last year, I was at my neighbors down in Florida. Of course, I have never been invited to my neighbors for anything up here. I've been here for three years. I get along fine with all my neighbors except for one motherfucker, but... No. Uh... Not exactly a close-knit neighborhood. My neighbors will not have my back when the shit goes down. I don't know if I have any, well, except for one neighbor who probably would kill me. For my last can of Beanie Winnie's.
but I do have my imaginary friends to sit here and share my Thanksgiving feast with. Well, I'm down to all beanies. The weenies seem to be about gone there. All beanie, no weenie. Yep. That's my certainly my slogan in life. All beanie, no weenie. <sighs> I don't know if it's hot. I don't think he went it anyway. I have Osama's, Osama, I have your hot sauce in here, your seven sisters hot sauce. So, uh, at least my imaginary friends on YouTube helped cook this meal. So I've traded in my my flesh and blood clueless moron friends for a pack of uh, imaginary not clueless moron friends. Hmm. Oh, fuck. Well, we've gotten to the end of the weenie. I have hit the end of the weenie, which I guess means that's the end of my Thanksgiving feast by myself. I have just now finished the single most depressing thing on the planet a human being can do. And I will be uh, doing it again tomorrow. It's hot and it's spicy. And there's no weenies. It's all beanies. It's got Osama's hot sauce in it. And it's hot. Uh, anyway, that was a fine, memorable Thanksgiving feast. So, now that I've done that, and it's fucking dark at 5 o'clock in the afternoon, I guess I will, uh, I guess I will, uh, well, guess I will head over to Amazon.com and look for their Black Friday deals. Oh, Jesus. What a fucking life. Happy Thanksgiving, my lovable imaginary friends. Yes, little dog. I know it. Five o'clock. <laughs> Five o'clock. We're so fucked.